security guard. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, this is private property, sir. No, it's not. This is, listen to me. No, do you listen to me? So Shut you your mouth and listen to me. Kilo, this is 10-4. 10 4 65, uh, tag on the vehicle. 10 4, go ahead. Floor tag 096, we'll be doing 1050 on that vehicle. 10 4 vehicles 1054, 1029, Gray 2016 Q utility to Jeffrey Gray out of St. Augustine, Sean Valid 48. He says Jeff Gray. 10 4. Okay, today is Tuesday, March 24th. 2020. I am on Sergeant Tutton Drive on the public sidewalk next to Flagler Hospital. That's Flagler Hospital over there. And over here in this parking lot, parking lot B, Flagler Hospital, they are conducting COVID-19 test collection process. It says this is a pre-scheduled collection site only. Uh, please do not get out of your vehicle unless asked to do so. Please keep your windows rolled up until otherwise instructed. Be prepared to show your driver's license and insurance card through the window. I guess that's your health insurance card. If you do not have an appointment, contact your primary care physician to request an order. Oh, I'm good. How are you? Can I help you? I'm with the media. I'm with the press. Yes. And I'm just documenting what's going on out here. So typically we... Um, I'm going to stay back six feet though. <laughs> All right. Typically we would like to plan that in advance. Uh -huh. Patient privacy is our number one concern. So we don't allow people just to come on campus and shoot video of our patients. Okay. Well, I'm not on campus. This, this is our campus. This is private Sergeant property. Tutton Drive is a public okay. road and this is a public sidewalk. Okay. So we can organize around that and see what we want to do okay. because patient privacy is really our number one concern. Okay, and I would I, think that as a member of the media that you would respect that. Well, I'll tell you that I'm waiting for them to pull up there so I can't see what, they're, what they look like. I can't get their faces. Is or, there a question I can answer? On the video? Or what? I'm, I'm not sure. And I'm just, well, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. okay. So um, the public has a right to know they do. what's being done on our behalf at our expense. The public has a right to know what the process is. And I'm, we would be happy to explain okay. it to you. So all I'm doing is I'm trying to get what the healthcare workers are saying. You know. Well, that's um, covered under HIPAA as well. Okay. Well, my cameras have HIPAA filters on them. They come equipped with HIPAA filters. But, I'm, there's not such a thing. <laughs> so it filters the HIPAA out. It's a HIPAA filter. It filters it out. So would you like to speak with someone and they can tell you what the process is? I, sure. Yeah, because that'd be great. it's really not helpful to have you standing here videotaping patients all day long. I it's concerning it all to long. the people. We want to serve the patients. We don't want them to feel that they're being exploited. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this is freedom of the press. I know it's freedom of the press, and but I... it's also exploitation of people who are afraid. Okay, if that's what you want to say. It is. I know you're videotaping it. I look forward to seeing it online. Okay. All right. So would you like to speak with someone to understand the process, or uh, you just if... want to interpret it on your own? I don't want anybody to stop what they're doing, because okay. what you guys are doing is important, and I appreciate what you're okay. doing. So I don't want anybody to stop what they're doing to come talk to me. But if somebody would like to come talk to me, that's fine too. If they want to explain what's going on out here, that'd be great. I think um, that's what we would like to do. And typically that's how the media works, is they're working with us to help understand the process right. and not trying to exploit people and show them on video while they're getting tests. Uh, I'm not normal media. I'm, I'm odd. Fair. I'm very different. I'm that's very fair. odd. So I don't do what normal media does. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get with the sheriff's office and we're going to get back to you. Okay. Security guard. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, this is private property, sir. No, it's not. This is. Listen to me. No, do you listen to me? So Shut you your mouth and listen to me. 
This is private property. I mean, this yes, is sir. public property. This is Sergeant Tutton Drive. I'm, I'm not dealing with your crap. Sergeant Tutton Drive is our road, so we It is it, not. I've looked it. at it over there. It says okay. not. The we side road says private. This says public. I'm not playing games name, with you. Sir. I am not I'm playing not. games with you. The this is public property. Get lost. Okay. The reason why the road is named because we have to name the roads according to the county. Don't get close to me. Six feet distance. Six feet distance. I'm not six, sir. So I'm going to have to worry about that. Six feet distance. If you have a problem with the press, they'll take care of you on that behalf. But this is private property. This is public property. You're standing on public. No, sir, public. this is public property. Private. I'm not going anywhere. What's your name? This is private. What's your Wilson, name and ID number? It's right there. What's your badge number or ID we number? We don't have badge numbers. So I'm the manager for security for the hospital. Do you have a uh, security number? Officer. Okay. This is private property. The road is ours, sir. We pave it. We maintain it. Sir, this it. is public property. This is Sergeant yeah. Tutton Drive. Yeah. All the roads you, have to have a name You're standing, standing too close to me. We're supposed to keep you're, six sir, feet. This is private property. You're standing on private property right now. This is public property. We maintain property. this property. This is private property, sir. This if is an public accident property. happens out here, PSA comes out and they take a view of it. If they want to take the report, they can. This is private property. I'm not going to argue with you about it. Okay, it's not, public but property. I'm going to ask you to leave the property, sir, please. I'm not leaving okay. unless you're trespassing. I'm the officers over here, then we'll have to trespass you if that's the case. I'm not leaving until I'm trespassed. And this is public property. This is a public okay. sidewalk. Sergeant Tutton Drive, I Deputy, checked in the parking lot. Please trespass off the property. This is freedom of the press. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. Shameful behavior. This is shameful behavior. Right. So, my trespass. Don't worry, from my appeal, she'll take care of you, sir. Have a good day. All right, you too. that they've now got a lesson on where their property begins and ends and the law uh, kudos to the st john's county sheriff's department uh, hopefully i'm not speaking too soon for uh doing the right thing and not trespassing me it's all good good to go man all right um i just let you know man yeah. uh, all i want to do is capture what they're telling the people to do the procedure the process so the public yeah. will know I can um, edit out the tag numbers and I'm waiting for the car to get in there so I'm not getting anybody's faces or anything like that. I mean, I don't have to do that, but that's what I'm doing it for privacy. I'm good with it, man. Okay. All right. It's a beautiful right. day. It's a good right. day to be outside. I appreciate you guys doing the right thing. Thank you. Right, Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Gray with PENAC News and On Your Road Civil Rights Investigations. I'm out here at Flagler Hospital today um, because I was covering the COVID-19 testing site, which is located right over here in lot, uh, parking lot B at Flagler Hospital. Uh, and moments ago, staff from the Flagler Hospital attempted to have me trespass from what I thought was Flagler Hospital property. But the problem was, this road that you see these vehicles driving on is Sergeant Tutton Drive. It connects 312 out here, runs along and it goes up here to the right and connects to US-1. It's public property, public sidewalks, as public as it can get. And here's a perfect example to show you how I know that this is uh, this public property, Sergeant Tutton Drive. Right there is a sign, Sergeant Tutton Drive, public road. Over here on the side, it says uh, San Bartolo Drive, which says PVT, private property. PVT clearly marks this as a private road, San Bartolo. Or Sergeant Tutton Drive, where I was standing engaged in constitutionally protected activity, specifically freedom of the press, on the sidewalk, is public property. Now you can see here, this is uh, Sergeant Tutton Drive out here. You come in here, there's still the public right of way. Then you see the difference in the asphalt from where it's public property on Sergeant Tutton Drive to private property on San Bartolo Drive. So I want you to put into perspective here. Staff from Flagler Hospital including security, healthcare workers, and administration, attempted to trespass me from what they thought was Flagler Hospital property because I was engaged in freedom of the press. And this is in the middle of a healthcare crisis, all right, during the middle of the COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak. What if I would've got sick and I was trespassed from the hospital? What if a family member would've got sick and I'm trespassed from the hospital? Would that mean that I could not come and get 
health care, seek treatment from me or my family. It's truly disgusting behavior. From Flagler Hospital.